punish. We've seen it anti-air. Right. Ooh, yep. Yeah, that would have been plus if they blot. If if other guys guessed right on the overhead, it still would have been plus. Since he had no meter, he would have just had to hold it either way. Ronick here in trouble. This could be it. Has to make a play. Yep, with a back oh trimmy. Oh, my God. Four, one, two there, of course. One mix here. <gasps> yes. And he gets it here. Oh, my God. He's going to close it out with the fatal. And I'm not the clutch gonna, factor. This is this guy's first offline tournament. I hope so. And this dude is just clutch as fuck, dude. That insane. Yep, right here. Yes, sir. The slide now. him. Hey y'all, it's your boy Poseidon. In this video, we're gonna be showing off an absolutely insane run this weekend that happened from a player playing a not so common character in Sub-Zero Chameleon. Um, this run was crazy for a couple of reasons. One is because Sub-Zero Chameleon is not a very commonly used team in terms of competitive play. Sub-Zero is one of the more popular characters, so it makes sense that even if he is bad, that people stuck with him. But we're getting to a point where in the last three big offline uh, Mortal Kombat tournaments, the three biggest of 2024, we've had a Sub-Zero in top eight of all three of them. Lembo Dog at Frosty Fostings. We had Brian, I actually don't know the full time, I'm just gonna call him Brian, uh, at the Brazilian Pro Comp. And we had um, Arona here at Texas Showdown making all the way to grand finals with Sub-Zero Chameleon. So this, this poses a few questions before I get into it, and I'll go show you the run because the, the run was absolutely insane. But this poses a few questions. One, is Sub-Zero a good character in this game? Is he a potential top 10 character? Um, and uh, another thing, and this kind of poses a problem, and you see this a lot when, a, when someone does good with a character, we tend to... Uh, associate the run with the character and not so much the player. So are these three players just really, really good players between Limbo, Dog, Brian, and Arona, and they could just make Sub-Zero work? And does that just speak to the overall balance of the game? Because there's been a lot of uh, tier lists coming out, and Reiko has been notoriously coming up in people's top fives, even. And it's a lot of people who don't even play Reiko, and... People were like, well, why is Reiko being played so high? And then this same weekend, Han Rashid won Level Up Expo with Reiko, Reiko Tremor. So then that kind of confirmed, like, oh, Reiko's top three. So are, are, are us as a community, do we associate runs with the character too much? And should we give them more props to the players? Or should we use these runs to show, hey, these people can make this character work. This character is good. Definitely make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm going to go over to the start GG. I'm going to show you the run that Arona had. And then we're going to go watch the loser's final set that he played versus Hourglass of Rain. Let's get it, boys. So if we take a look here, Arona wasn't even like seated very highly. Actually, he was seated extremely low. There was only a couple uh, round one matches that happened throughout the tournament. I had only two or three per pool, and Arona was part of that. He wins his first set and then loses to the second seed at the tournament, potentially the best player there from Mortal Kombat 1, an hour last and reign, a player who has won countless online tournaments. And then he goes down the loser's bracket, and he wins one two three four five six losers matches that's just to make top eight losers side and he be obviously known players like super saiyan god big zo and dark elite on his way just to loser side top eight and look let's take a look at this losers run path because now he's in top eight so he's gonna be fighting killers he goes three two against rio three one against yo aj who made winner side top eight three one against violets and then three one against our last of rain before um, losing to Dialog 3-1 in Grand Finals. And Dialog had one of the most legendary pop-offs, but this video is not about Dialog. Maybe I'll make another one <laughs> for him, but that his run was absolutely insane as well. But let's go and let's watch the game film and let's see what made Arona's Sub-Zero so special and was able to pull off a run of this magnitude. See him showdown. The bat, of course, making a little bit of mistake there. There for Hourglass has to make the clutch. So before I get too into it, um, I just want to explain uh, uh, the reasoning why Sub Zero is considered a really good character with Chameleon. Um, so he he so with Jade Glaive, his mix becomes mix into plus frames. So if you do the low, you go into Glaive and it's plus. If you go into back, uh, back two, which is an overhead and you use Glaive, it's plus. It mixes in a combo extends. So you have to guess right on the mix 
and then armor through the glaive on a reed to um, essentially combat that. And if you don't do either, you either get hit with the mix or you block the mix and then you eat plus reams. So that is incredibly crazy in itself. Um, with Melina, you get mix of off back three and back two. So you get the mix, but you get like double layered mix. So you get back, back three and two. So you go low and you can go low, low. You can go low overhead and with Melina. And the thing is, if you go low overhead, you get the combo extender if it hits. If you go low, low, it's safe and you can use the Melina size to combo extend. So you basically get a mix that double combo extends and potentially can stay safe as well. Um, which is pretty uh, absurd. And then with Katana Flift, you get safe armored launcher. So it, you do the you do the armor move and you do the fan lift. If it if they block it, you lift out. If they get hit, then you can combo extend into a full combo, um, which is you know just just, just crazy stuff. So Sub Zero has some sauce, and even with uh with the fan, uh, you get safe mix. And the thing is, if they try to armor through the layer with that, is the fan double hits, so it will break armor. So. Um, it's pretty crazy, and then you get combo extensions if the mix hits into the katana fam. So just just, just uh, cr crazy stuff that uh, katana um, katana uh, chameleon sub zero has. Here, but nope, of course, covering the space here. Arona saying, you know what? I got you covered. An hourglass of rain. Oh, there, there, there's the there's the safe okay. mix, the plus frame mix. Ooh, yes. lifts in there. That just got down to what happened to his health bar? That's gone. The down one from Sub Zero also incredible, incredibly good move. This clone a bit, a bit to be desired, but still a good move nonetheless. <gasps> dive kick that combo extends. Okay, that's safe. Yes, <gasps> sir. Safe jump. That's so good. So if you do that, you do that one two right there. And you just, you don't combo because you just jump in. It's a safe jump, which means you get a potential to armor break. And if they do anything, wake up and it's not block, you get hit. The mix. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ouch. And if you had a combo too, with the hit advantage of the teleport. First blood yes. being drawn by Hourglass. Mm, that's, that's cool. I like that. You just jump, jump in and then Ice Clone. So again, Hourglass taking that first round here on the right. Ooh, that's good, big trade. Normally only left. convertible from certain distance with a slide, but because he had the chameleon. Uh -huh. Really good on the fly, and that, <laughs> oh. I haven't seen that since the Stone Age. Ice Clone grabs, and then the grab brings them into the Ice Clone and gets the freeze for a full combo. Yes, Incredible. Rona going in right now. Only 15% though, scale the combo a bit. Nice air to air. Rona making the reads. Ooh, yes, sir. Ooh doesn't Ooh. get the combo. A little too high on the Ooh, that's right. safe though, they block it. That's something you don't see every day. Okay, Hourglass with the pressure here. Let's see it. Needs this hole with the overhead. Of course, going to clip it there. Back it up. Knew the slide was coming. Ooh, interesting. Wow. That, that, that stopped the combo. That's something he's done his homework on. He's <gasps> reversing that, that slide. With roll every single time. Forces. Off the meter. Yep, run it back it up here. Yep, and that invulnerability. But mm, no, not going to be enough. Dead. Of course, Hourglass going to take the advantage of it here. And yep, all right. That's it. Hourglass. Securing it. Yes. Off the comeback. But it's put in a really scary situation. Almost sniped him with the uh, glow up and doing the 2-1 right. there in pressure. And as a reminder, our glass of rain is on the right. Uh, Arona on the left. Arona is the Sub-Zero player. Our yes. glass of rain, the Lena Lau. All right. So that early. Could hold out a little bit longer. Nice block. Okay, not good jump there. Nice duck for the ice ball. Okay, look at these claves. Ooh, no, frozen. It's just it's just so tricky because it's like when when is it time to press? Like it's like some zeros of players will say like, oh, it's unsafe. Oh, you can get punished for doing it, but it's like if they, they just do poke ice clone, sometimes you're just gonna get hit because you try to you try to counter back because they poked. You know what I mean? Oh, mix. Damn. Excellent. Looking real pretty out here. Oh no. Hourglass. Mm, hourglass. Um, it's not the only mm. cameo that can combo off right. of that 50 50 that's built in the Molina Stem 1 mix. Mm. The yes. low side in the corner <laughs> with the Lao Hat out. <laughs> Good stuff. Back oh. two. 
Combo? Okay. One bad thing is that Sub really doesn't do a ton of damage. As I say that, he just does 36 because of Chameleon. So that's another thing. Armor, nice option there. Did I want to get hit by low? Low hat there. Let's look, it's clipped. Big risk. Hourglass tried to use the force on that one. Right. As we've been talking about. Well, she didn't work there, and yep, it should be able to cash out this damage here, and if not, still the mix. Oh, good conversion. Of course, getting the mix right there. But that's pretty sure that's your own block right there, Shampoo Four. Possibly the the best looking combo of the of the night. That is such a good looking one. Look at those pokes, yeah, what are you supposed to do? So the down one, that space, I don't know if you can do anything about it. Melina has a good poke herself. Get out of there. There's that safe slide. Anything's possible when those two things have been beating on the screen because we've seen it punish, we've seen it anti-air, right. and not convert. Ooh, yep, yeah, that would have been plus if they blocked, if, if I got to guess right on the overhead, it still would have been plus. Since he had no meter, he would have just had to hold it either way. Oh my god. One, two there, of course. One mix here. Yes! And he gets it here. Oh my he damage, god. He's going to close it out with the fatal. And I'm not the clutch factor. This is this guy's first offline tournament. I hope so. And this dude is just clutch as fuck, dude. That insane. Yep. Right here. Yes, sir. The sliding on him. I like that. I like it. All right. I like I like the aggressive play right there. And it worked out, so. You can take one, you can take three, Bandit <laughs> Testers. That's true. I, I don't know who originally said this, but probably eons ago, thousands of years, they said if it bleeds, you can kill it. That's true. Hmm. Good job, Predator. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to try to wait to see what the mix up was there. Of course, yet Meter Burn slide to get out of mm -hmm. pressure there. Let's draw back, back to. Verona. And the thing is, if you have a Katana fan lift, you can just let a full back two rip, and it, they block it. It's very punishable, but you can just lift right out of there. One two there. That that's called hourglass already. Yep. I find the clone and the glow. So smart. The clone, yeah, the clone. So you get the back dash with the with the clone. So you get out of harm's way, and then you get the safe uh, Jade. Because if you hit Jade while she's up. Uh, or do you hit sub while they're or whoever is getting the jade glow? No, we sort of did slide with that, of course. So we can check it. Oh, then you won't you won't get the glow. So that gives you safe glow. And this could be it. Gonna cash out the damage here. And it's a fort to drop right there from our glass. Yeah, it was over right there as long as as long as it knew what side you were on. Big unfortunate situation for our glass to be in. Wasn't high enough for the punish either. Arona stole the turn back with a down one another overhead into the jade find his mark. Put him in plus. He's got three bars of meter. Oh man, this is gonna be really Oh my god. Look at the, now look at this damage. Yeah, keep, it go, keep it going. Ah. Saves the two bars. It still did 412. Yeah. Big boy. Yeah, 41%. Not bad. There we go. That's some grown man testosterone taking damage right there. <laughs> nice block for the cameo. Nope. Gonna get him in trouble. Okay, yeah, try to back dash that overhead. We've seen the shimmy, of course. Hourglass already adapting to the to the back. <gasps> what? Breaker here. Did that punish? Oh, 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 let's go back and rewatch that, like for like two seconds. Actually, nah, we won't. I'll, I'll just let it rock. I'll just let it rock. Kind of trading, of course. That bit of blow. Yep. Oh my god. Ooh, and through the madness, Hourglass finds a big hit. Nice. It's on a Rona now. To look at his meter and go, do I use any of this? Yeah. I don't have any of this right now. Got enough for it. Nice block. If he has, oh, yep. He's out. Hourglass. <gasps> that was so risky. Hourglass. That was so risky. Let's do a game five. Yes. Losers round one. All right. Get hype, everybody. This is a Cinderella story if I have ever seen one in the potential making. Yeah, negating. Is it 1-1 mm -hmm. or is it 2-2? Two, two? Uh, it was 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's 2-1. Two, <laughs> it, like it does. Maybe it does. It's blending together. Feels like we've been here for an eternity. <laughs> Locked in combat. There we go. Nope. Low check there to get himself out of the corner. Good stuff from Hourglass. Mm. The throw in. Yep. Next out. 
Ooh, yep, and you get the combo. Let's say the uh, could have kept it safe and got the safe jump. Oh, look at that mix as well. Because you had the chameleon, so you could have mixed there, but he goes to the low and gets a combo extension. Dude, the, the so many options to mix. The health dwindling. Right there. Mm. Resources Arona has right now. Mm. Yeah, hard to block meter for that. Have a nice day. That's a hard now match point. That's a hard mix there to block. Of course, back two and then back forward three for the slide. You got to be ready for that. And of course, mm. cut people off. And if that Molina would have worked right there, I feel like that may have been a final nail in Aragos's coffin. Nice. That clutch block might be the factor to get it back in. Here you go. Ice ball. No, you can duck that. And a name that no one had on their bracketology coming into this, right. Arona. Now a name that should be on everyone's radar yes, sir. in competitive Mortal Kombat. Saw that before, yep. Hourglass kind of ready for that. Kind of ready for that mix. And try something new there. We'll see. Nope. There we go. Nice ball conversion there. Well, I'm looking in trouble here for this up. Might have been up a little bit more than he could shoot. Back to Shimmy. No, no, that's of course, as I told you, have to be ready for that. And you got to be ready for what side that that <gasps> Nice up block right there. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. With the up block. Okay. Stay alive, stay alive. Ah, ah, ah. Yes, sir. Dylock sitting back, hoping these two expend all their energy and trying to get to him at the top of the pyramid. Yes, sir. It's way up. I like that mix is like you get you get the you, you make you you keep him in check with the uh, with the four ice ball. Zero ice clones. Eh. Has to be careful. Yep. And he has chameleon for this. Of course, chameleon's on depth. Yep. Smart stuff wants to keep him back. Side, no side's not going to reach. That's a watch out for teleport mm -hmm. as well. There, got to be careful. He's able to get that. They have forced him to block the uh, the ice ball with the glaive. With the space that he saw there, right? And the hit events allow him to. Oh my god, see, that would have been safe. He would have been able just to get right out of there. But it's like it's a combo extender into safe jump. Gives up a little bit of damage. Right. Every time because it's hard to get a wake up, and you know what side is going to be on. Right. When you try to put in your wake up, mess you up. It's very active on that jump one. And Arona. Squeezes in with a couple of four dashes, unchecked by Hourglass. Down three, a little down three there. Morona, yep, yeah, gonna get thrown. No tech there from Morona. That's okay. Hourglass. Let's see if he's gonna go in here. What's the play? Low side. Yep, yeah, meter burn. Of course, of course. Gotta be careful. Nice ball. Nope, no dice. No dice. Down one there. Of course, Morona trying to keep him back. Wants to fake out. Nothing papers. Back up. Fading through Ice Clone. Ooh, nice break there, of course, and Rona's saying, nope, I smell what you're cooking here, I'm out. And for the first time, <gasps> now, your time is now for 10 seconds. No breaker available into okay, the Fatal yes Blow, sir. and this is going to be close. Just, you throw up enough ice balls, and eventually it's just going to hit, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> Everyone's getting towards the edge of their seat right now. Here comes the hammer. There we go. And if all he has to do is stay back. He didn't even have to go in, but of course decide to go in and seal the deal here. With and Rona with the slide again, two sets. He could have died, and he did it. Arona oh, man. eliminating wow. our glass of rain in the offline debut. Yes. That is crazy. Enzo, one, Good. Seems to be the training partner of yep. Arona, was the one that came up to me at a local Ooh. about a month ago and was like, hey, man, a Texas showdown. When you look at the bracket, look out for Arona, oh, sub-zero player. And I've been thinking about that this entire time. And yesterday so that is gonna be it guys let me know what you think has this set changed your opinion on sub-zero has this run changed your opinion on sub-zero or do you think sub-zero is just overrated character games balance that you can make the run you can make uh, any character work because he was looking pretty strong and so i won't lie but rona obviously a very good player and you know do we also tend to associate runs with players or characters rather than the player themselves well, I, I think we do both, but do we tend to over-exaggerate the run of the character? Please let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.